Oh, hey. Like so, like how's the whole rap thing going? Are right? you still doing the the rhyming of the words and whatnot? Hey, paisano. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. What's up? You're watching Hive Mind, the craziest show on the internet. It's nuts. My name's Riley, and as always, I'm joined by my stunning co-host, Graydon. That's me, baby. <laughs> and we have a very special guest today. Welcome to Sam Be Yourself. What's up, guys? What's up? How we doing? Pretty yeah, good. Let's do it. Thanks for uh, being here. Of course. Thanks for having me, guys. Of course. You're a rapper. Yeah. Uh, performer. Detroit native. Yeah. Netflix appearer. Netflix appearer. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Is I that like good? that. Yeah, I'm gonna add that to the bio. Okay, what else? What else uh, you got? Yeah, uh, producer. Producer. Um, oh, multi instrumentalist. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, wow. exactly. Just overall musician and uh, just 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 a fun guy, you know. Oh overall, yeah. Overall fun guy. I like that. Okay. <laughs> All right, for the viewers, uh, if you don't know, Sam was on season one of Rhythm and Flow on Netflix. So if you haven't seen it. This conversation may spoil things for you. Mm -hmm. So you can pause here and watch all eight episodes. Is that right? How many episodes? Ten. Ten, ten episodes. episodes. Watch all ten episodes and then come back to us. Well, really only eight because... Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, but before that... Spoiler. Before that, how was your day? Uh, my day was excellent, man. Just, you know, working on a little bit of tunes and just trying to uh, lock in some more dates for a tour. And that's about it, man. Just steady working. Nice. Yeah. All right. Before we get to the rhythm and flow questions, yeah. I think Graydon had a specific uh, question for yeah, you. Yeah, I was doing some research on you, and is it true that you got your moniker from like a, your playground bully calling you Sam P yourself? No, <laughs> no, no, oh, no. Oh man, the the internet. Hell? Let close. me down again. Jeez. <laughs> close, close. No, um, actually, no. I went by. I just went. My last name starts with the B. So for years, I went oh, by Sam, Sam B. B. Mm. And then when it came time to like dropping my first project. I tried to like upload it or whatever, and they I couldn't because uh, the name Sam B had already been like trademarked and mm -hmm. used. Right. So I didn't want to stray too far from Sam B just because it's like what I had been going by and doing shows and kind of had a little bit of a local buzz using that name. So mm -hmm. I just added an E on the end of B, and then yourself just kind of rolls nice. off the tongue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, so I want to know it all, but how did you? How many years had you been rapping before you got on the show? Like how many years have you been putting out music? So probably putting out music for like six, seven years, mm -hmm. like actually putting it out there, trying to make music videos and stuff like that. But uh, it took me a while to actually like gain confidence to release some stuff. So I had been right. like recording and writing and rapping for like 10 years le leading up to the show. Okay. Wow. And how did you first hear about the show? How did you get involved? Yeah. So Chance the Rapper had just posted on Instagram one day. Me, T.I., and Cardi are doing a show. Mm -hmm. um, we need rappers that are unsigned, motivated, hungry. Send your music to this link. And it was just like an application forum. You just go to the website, fill out the little like questionnaire. It's almost like a job application, if you will. You would just fill out your name, all the stuff, where you're from, a little bit about you, and send some music. And then from there, uh, Netflix producers just kept reaching back out to me. And they're like, yeah, we like this song. Can you tell us a little bit more about your story? Mm -hmm. And then, like, another week or two would go by, and then they sent me a batch of beats, and they are like, here you go, uh, rap to one of these, send it back to us. And then I got offered to uh, go and audition at the Chicago audition in front of Chance. Nice. Uh, yeah. And so was that beat that they sent you, is that what you had to then perform when you yeah, played? They sent okay, like a that's what I thought. Yeah, they sent a batch of, like, 30 beats, and that was the one that I chose to perform to. And, um, yeah, that's how that worked. Wow, yeah. 30 beats? Yeah, it was, like, 30 different beats that they sent, and you just pick one wrap it, and then they were like, yeah, we like that. You should use that and audition with it. So that's what I did. Okay, okay. And what like, what was the time difference between when you did this and when the show ended up airing? Oh, my God. So, yeah, it was probably, like, so I sent them, like, the freestyle video of me rapping over the beat they provided in, like, probably, like, right after – Thanksgiving, like early December, right? Oh, okay. And so then I had to do a FaceTime. Then I had to, so someone, one of the producers FaceTimed me and was like, perform right now while we're on FaceTime. Try to catch me off spot. Really? So I did it for them over FaceTime because they just want to kind of chin check you to make sure like, oh wow, put them on the spot. The Is pressure, he going to do it? Yeah. yeah. So that's probably how they weeded a bunch of people out yeah. that way because like people probably stumbled or were like, no, you know, you I'm not want... ready. Like, yeah. can I call you back kind of thing? So I just rapped for the producer uh toriel shout out to her she's awesome yeah uh, that's who i rap for and then um so literally after i do that uh-huh i don't hear back from them 
for like three or four weeks. So you thought you flopped. And I'm like shitting my pants. I'm like, oh, that's it. That's cool. At least, you know, they hit me back. Like I'm on their radar. Some people at Netflix might know my name. And I'm back in Detroit for like Christmas, New Year's Eve, the holiday break. Mm -hmm. And I go back to work on, uh, back in Chicago. I was living in Chicago at the time. So I go back to work on like January 5th and I check my email and this is a Tuesday and they're like, oh yeah, um, you're auditioning this Friday for Chance. Yeah, and the celebrity guest judges. So I thought it was going to be Chance and Cardi and T.I. And then I get there, and it was Chance and Royce and Twista. Right. And I was like, Damn. oh, fuck. As so if someone from Detroit. Right. Royce and I was like, oh, we're good yeah. now, baby. I was like, yeah. let's go. So, yeah, it was just like, there was like a four-week period where I was like, that sucks, man. Like, they're never going to hit me back. Yeah. Right. And then it ended up working out. Yeah, that, that's crazy. So then, like, in that time after you had filmed, what was your feeling like like until it aired, did you feel like you had to like like oh I'm gonna put in as much work as I can? Oh yeah, that's, oh, yeah. I feel like it, exactly like, that's it was a good demo. it was go time. I filmed like four music videos, recorded a shit ton of stuff, mm -hmm. made a ton of beats. Also while having like anxiety attacks every single day because I'm thinking like okay what if this shit turns out like Jersey Shore? What if I look like an idiot? What if I look? right? Because they can cut and edit and depict oh, you in you any way anyway. that they see fit. Yeah. So I was like, dude, I'm gonna look like an idiot. Like I'm gonna look crazy. But you know, <laughs> they ended up doing a good job of you know not making it super corny and authentic to hip hop and stuff. Yeah. So I agree. I went into it honestly not knowing. I was just watching it because I was like, I'm curious. Yeah. I like like to engage with content like that. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know whether I was gonna like it. And yeah. then it ended up like being pretty fun to watch. Pretty yeah. like didn't make anybody look too crazy. You know yeah. What I mean? Exactly. Exactly. Like even the people mm -hmm. that even the at the end of the day like even the people that got told no, like you're not going through or whatever, right. like they're still dope. Uh -huh. like, they still have a chance to like, you know, have a very successful career. So yeah, they did a good job of yeah. not making it corny. But I can't imagine, that's what I was saying to Graydon about this is like being in your position where oh, yeah. it's out of your hands and then oh, yeah. you know millions of people are gonna see you. That is like, I couldn't, that's the oh, confidence. Like bro, I, could, I, I couldn't. It was yeah. like, couldn't sleep at night. Right. Like just, stomach aches like anxiety like oh i bet dude. yeah for like almost to the point where like i'm contemplating calling producers and being like let me, just, <laughs> let me just see a clip <laughs> let me see a clip like so yeah no it was it was pretty uh, gut-wrenching yeah and, uh, but it ended up turning out real well for everybody yeah. yeah i compared it to taking a plunge but not hitting the water until like eight months later dude. Like, <laughs> and so um so my girlfriend's sister stephanie she said was like she's like it's your baby like it's eight months it's like you're pregnant oh yeah and then once the show finally airs that's your son like that's how she <laughs> described it and i was like mind blown i was like that's yeah. literally what it felt like now you yeah. know what it's like, like to be pregnant oh yeah of course <laughs> that's fucking sweet wow <laughs> yeah that's awesome um one thing i was gonna ask is uh there are people a lot of chatter after the show about uh just like maybe not being fair enough to kind of like the new age of hip-hop like especially the rap battle like mm -hmm. a lot of people were saying like do you think that the rap paddle should be part of the competition still in 2019? You know? Yeah, I remember hearing that debate a lot. And um, I I do at the end of the day, for just one, at the end of the day, it, it was Hollywood and they're trying to make a great TV show, right? right. So they know kids are going to come with crazy bars and like the whole like, you know, you remember the scene from 8 Mile. It just makes for yeah. good content. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And like they knew that that was going to be a way to like weed out strong MCs from weak MCs like, and even some of the kids who lost, like, shout out to Old Man Saxon, like, Old Man Saxon. Felicia George, like, even people that lost, like, it's because they had to, they had to, like, go against a hard battle. Yeah. Right. Like, you know, like, it just worked out that, like, I... Especially poor King Vile. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, like, I was lucky enough to get partnered up with someone that... I was better than you know what I'm saying like Beans had to yeah. go against Flawless yeah. right and Beans could probably be, beat me in the battle oh, you know right. what I'm saying like right. Beans is one of the nastiest MCs I've ever heard and like but she had to go against Flawless Old Man Saxon if he would have got to the music video challenge we all would have been fucked because he's the most creative dude I've ever met almost yeah but he had to go against D-Smoke like so it just all depended on like who you had to run into and shit like that but back to your actual original question mm -hmm. I do think that it, it is necessary but you don't need that shit to make it in today's hip hop. Like uh, right, you don't. Right. These kids don't need to grow up and be like, "Oh, I need to be battle tested and battle ready." Yeah. Like mm -hmm. da 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 da. But it does help, man, because like, 
you know, you look at people that have gone, like, you look at a guy like Drake who's very sing-songy and then, like, Meek Mill tried to test him and then we saw how that turned out. Like, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, you, you still got to be ready for if, yeah, someone, if, if someone comes at you. It's, hip, it's at, hip-hop. At the heart of it is, like, it's a showcase of confidence. Too. Right. Like, being able to right. go out there and be like, just saying, like, you are better than someone and, right. and like, being able to rip into someone exactly. without it being, like... Yeah, yeah, and the best thing about it is, is like the cool thing about battles is, is you don't even have to have like the best rhymes, if you just have some witty, clever, funny shit that gets yeah. the crowd to go, oh, that's then it. You, yeah. Then you win the crowd, and then everything's gravy. So it's like it's yeah, it's not even about who's the better MC. It's about just like who's more confident, creative, and like has a swagger to their their shit or whatever. But what was yeah, your right. bar? He has three beers and his like baby body blackout. Or yeah, something. yeah. Was like, I said his little boy body blacks out after three yeah. beers. <laughs> yeah. <His> little boy <laughs> body. <laughs> All right. Um if they were to replace it, I wrote a few ideas I just want to bounce off of you to make it, it more contemporary. Let's hear it. Let's, Let's hear it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are. Because right. I feel like season two is coming, and like they're is, obviously yeah. they're obviously not going to be able to use the same challenges because oh, yeah. these kids will go into it ready, like oh I got to be battle ready, I got to know yeah. what I'm going to do for my music video. Like, mm-hmm. So go ahead. All right, TikTok challenge, viral dance. Ooh. Back to back. Let's go. <laughs> wow, you know that's actually pretty interesting because you know you think of like Nike Turbo. You think of Nike Turbo, <laughs> right. bro. Dude, he would have been there, dog. Oh my god, dude! He would have won the whole fucking show. I know. That's <laughs> if what it was I'm based. If it was based in today's hip hop, yeah. Oh my they god! They gotta make like a spin off. That's like uh, that's kind of a dope like, idea, like yeah. a viral sensation, like swagger and clout. They could call it that, maybe something Whoa. like that. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's actually pretty. That's actually pretty good because yeah. yeah, yeah. It is a very like small niche thing because like not all uh-huh. rappers are into like. Yeah, I wish I could come up with a cool dance, but I I can't dance really so. But yeah, no, that's actually a decent idea. All I right. like it. I fuck with it. Second one, friendly dress off. <laughs> friendly dress off. Just like a, your fit, expound. fit challenge. Fit, style, so, swag, because that's half the right. battle these days, mm-hmm. bro. It's about exactly. looking the part. Um, yeah, yeah, no, because I mean, that's that one strays a little too far from the music. Right, yeah. probably, <laughs> but, but, you know. But, Uzi challenged Cardi to a friendly dress off for their beef. That's what. That's why you know I mentioned that one. But they have dude, beef. Loki Uzi mm. might have taken that one. Dude. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Probably. Yeah, sure. He's got some. He's got some swagger. For some reason, the little guy like wins in that. Usually, it's the other <laughs> way around with kids. Right, I don't know. Right, Cardi, right. Cardi's got some crazy style options as well. Like she's got a different hair color for every day. Oh, I was week. saying Playboy Cardi. Oh, Playboy Cardi. Oh, Playboy yeah, Cardi. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I don't know then. Yeah, Playboy Cardi is. Yeah, I don't know. You might take that. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> All right, last one I think is the best one. Physical fight. Physical <laughs> fight. <laughs> yeah, round one. <laughs> fight. Okay. Um, yeah, no, that could have been fun. Yeah, that could have been fun. Like, actually just like... Uh-huh. Like, are we talking like UFC? Like, put us in a cage? Like, elbows are legal? Yeah. yeah. Are we talking just like throw on boxing gloves? Street rules. I mean, street yeah. Rules. Street <laughs> wow. Rules. Yeah, almost like celebrity deathmatch kind of shit. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, that would have been tight. That would have been tight. Yeah. I mean, I was thinking like they should put you in a studio and just have you smoke down like with the heaviest smoker. Oh, like producer Willie Nelson. of all time. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Like, just because like the studio atmosphere can be smoky sometimes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So like you get in the studio. Yeah, but there, the there was some so. kids on there. There were some kids on there that don't really smoke or drink or anything like that. So then it's like losers so it's like well they'll never make it in the industry <laughs> so yeah so it's just like oh you're never gonna make it in life grow up complete losers honestly. have a, have have a drink like... <laughs> Jeez. Uh, you recently put out a song with troy man and ali tamanique yeah i did okay yep, 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 yep. is there anybody else from the show that you've been cooking up with or want to work with yeah i've actually produced a record for caleb colossus's nice. uh, mixtape that he put out it's called apollo i made the beat for that awesome um and then yeah just got some other stuff in the works Got some songs that I'm meaning to send out to some kids. They're kind of waiting on me to do that. Sorry, it's coming. Mm. And um, yeah, got some stuff in the works with with other kids from the show for sure. Cool. Outside of the show, um, who in the industry would you like to work with? Maybe with like now you have a little bit more reach, a little more leverage to do that sort of thing. Yeah, definitely. Um, Some of like the more, some of the kids that are really popping today that I really like i'm a real big fan of trippy red oh like, really i'm a pretty, I'm boy a, yeah i'm a really big fan of that kid mm-hmm. man i love his album dude his new album is Fire. insane what's dude. your favorite track off it um i was just listening to it on the way here wait give me one second um love. it's like the second track um love or i hate love or 
We got Spotify. Yeah, yeah we, we don't have to do all. It's the literally the now. second second song on the fucking album. Mine's okay. the one with Lil Wop, the Jungle Book. Oh, that one's really dope. That one's, that one's really dope. The whole album's insane. But it Fuck is. Love, I think it's called. Yeah. Who needs love? Who needs love? Who yeah, needs yeah, love? Yeah, yeah. So Trippy is definitely one of the new cats I really like. Mm-hmm. Um, for the record, mine's The Grinch. That's my favorite yeah. off there. That's a good one too. Pierre, oh, Pierre, yeah, Hart, dude. Pierre oh, Bourne. Yeah. Those beats are insane. Yeah. Yeah, Pierre. That's another dude that I, I really want a beat from. Um, you should get a feature from him too. Underrated yeah, rapper. Dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. His his solo project was super dope. Uh huh. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Um, I don't know, man. It's hard. There's so many. The fucking market is so oversaturated. You know that it's so hard to keep up with all the dope young talent. But uh-huh. then like. Also, you know, you have dreams of like working with people that you grew up loving. Like, yeah. um, I'm a, you know, I'm a huge Nas fan. That's mm-hmm. probably like my favorite rapper of all time. And then, um, is there someone outside of rap that you would want to work with? Like, bring into the definitely, scene a definitely bit? Uh, King Cruel yeah. oh, would yeah. be like probably my number one like non-rap. Even though he is like a yeah. beat maker and kind of uh-huh. dabbles with hip hop, yeah. Archie, yeah, Archie, exactly. Edgar the beat maker and shit. But mm-hmm. no, um, he is definitely one of the people. Probably like the top like, cool. non-rap person that I really want to make. Artist of the decade. Yeah. Really? Yeah. King Cruel? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Really? Yeah. yeah nice. Did you? Yeah. Did you get your Spotify wrapped? Did you wait? Do artists get them as listeners too? Yeah. If yeah. you have, if you have a regular right. listening account. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Was that anything you want to share from that? Any. Uh... Who'd you listen to a lot? Um, I haven't checked my personal one because I was so like God, going through the analy- <laughs> analytics of my own shit. But right. Yeah. So I don't know. I honestly, um, I don't. I have Apple Music. Oh, okay. For my listening, and I do have Spotify because there's a few podcasts on there that mm-hmm. I really like. I listen to uh, the Joe Budden podcast a lot. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. I love he, Joe Budden. He, exactly. It's a great would you rather uh, Would you rather fight Joe Budden or Joe Biden? <laughs> Um, Joe Biden for sure. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like Joe Biden can scrap. Dude. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Come on though, Biden. We need him in good shape. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why do we need him in good shape? No. We, he's better than Biden. He's not entering the <laughs> presidential campaign. Well, I don't know. That's true. I'm Bernie all the way anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's yeah, go, yeah. Bernie. I'm yeah. with the burn sir too. He was very drunk last night, and you kept repeating, "We gotta vote for Bernie. We gotta That's true, do dude, it." I speak the truth when I'm drunk. Yeah, dude, said, I, because we need a revolution. That's I feel the Bernie man. I voted for him when he was uh, going up against Hillary, and he ended up winning. Michigan, so I felt yeah. pretty special. That's I was like, good. Ah, my vote counted. By one vote. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was like, oh my God, Sam, be yourself. Like, thank you. Yeah. I want to thank I, Sam. <laughs> I want to thank Sam, be yourself. <laughs> Sam, be yourself we for the contribution. Re- <laughs> we need a revolution in music. <laughs> Head of the White House. Um, who was the craziest person to reach out? Craziest. Like, mentally craziest, not maybe like craziest <laughs> for you. Like, um, <laughs> craziest, ment- like, mentally unstable person yeah. to reach out to me. No, I'm just playing. Who, <laughs> yeah, who was the crazy? Like, did anyone like reach out and like give you props on the show that you were like, whoa? Like, um, like maybe your dad or mom or something. Uh, yeah, shout out to mom <laughs> and dad. You know what it is. Like, without y'all, I wouldn't be here today. <sighs> me, same um, here. No, you uh, you guys know who uh, Puya is? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, Puya reached out. Really? And uh, oh, just kind of wow. sent me like a video of him checking out the, sh- the show and shit. Oh, so, that's cool. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, yeah that's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty much the only one that. That's pretty random. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, a, I'm a pretty big fan of his shit, so that meant a lot. That's cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. Nothing like some gratitude. Gratitude, you know, to make yeah. you feel better. Yeah. Gratitude, yeah. Gratitude, more like. You are fucking on it today. <laughs> Sweet. Bro. <You're> um, <laughs> Uh, so you, in your music videos, you prioritize like narrative a lot, I notice. Like a lot of your music videos have like some sort of story or clever yeah. kind of like twist to something. Like Yeah, there's a specific director that I work with. Mike Popso. Shout out to Mike Popso. Shout out to him. Yeah, he's uh, he's an awesome dude. He's He's been pretty really involved with photography and, um, and video just in the city for tons of different companies and artists and, and stuff like that. And he's, uh, he's a really good photographer. He's a legend in the streets as a, um, he used to do a lot of, uh, you know, tagging and graffiti work as well. Awesome. Um, so yeah, when we, me and him get together, we like to, uh, we find ourselves to be pretty funny people and, and right. pretty good writers. So like, we like to come up with some cool concepts for yeah. sure. Um, but yeah, sometimes there's nothing just like a good old classic point and shoot rap yeah. video, you know. Right. Sometimes in the car, you exactly, know, that, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But stereo, that was was that the one the the with dinner the one, fight. the yeah. dinner one, man. I loved that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We we thought that was a, that was something that we had came up with. Um, we were both down in Florida in Fort Lauderdale, and we were just surrounded by a bunch of Italians because he's Italian, his wife's Italian, and his wife's sister is my girlfriend's sister. So oh. yeah, we're just surrounded. They're like. 
Scafuso! Oh, hey. Like so, like how's the whole rap thing going? Are right? you still doing the the rhyming of the words and whatnot? Hey, paisano! Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah exactly. Like, what, you're a rapper? Are you gonna be in a what, video? What are you, what what are you rap design? gifts at Macy's? What are you talking about, rapper? So yeah, we were like, yeah. dude, we gotta do this. Yeah. Except like, yeah. So we like to come up with you know fun, goofy concepts, make people laugh, and that's kind of like the angle that we like to take. We got some. Real funny shit that we're working on for the next one. That's so. cool. Awesome. Yeah. I just learned scafozo means asshole. Really? You know, one of my oh, scafozo! Scafozo! <laughs> now we're getting to the hard-hitting questions. You already know what time it is. Potpourri, baby. <laughs> all right, Sam, what's the, the food you can't stand the taste of at all? Like something? Olives. Okay. Oh, me too. So hey, every, oh, man. everything tastes like olives unless you're high on crack. Or you can't see your parents because the sight of them makes you high on crack. Oh my God. Yeah. So it's either just like bang rocks every day to, to, to not, <laughs> like to, bang to rocks, not yeah. taste like olives? To, to not have your food taste like olives? Yeah. Or never see your parents again. Or when you see them, you're high on crack. I mean, I mean check this, yo. DMX smoked crack and went platinum twice. So I'm smoking crack. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm, Who's smoking I'm, crack? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm. I'm definitely smoking rocks just to enjoy food. Right. I need right, my. Right. I need my parents in my life. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um, what's the biggest fish you've ever caught? Biggest fish I've ever caught? Probably like a. I'm not a big fisherman. Probably like a largemouth bass. What do you think? Maybe three, four pounds. Yeah, something like that. I would say probably about a nice little hog. Yeah, like that big. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Um, what's the longest time you've ever spent like alone in solitary? Um, uh, alone. I spent a, I spent like two days in jail once, like a day and a half. Oh, like like that's yeah. probably it. They Let's, locked you in solitary confinement. Not too? solitary, but like, uh, like, I, alone, like yeah. 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 Besides them, like sliding, like yeah, <laughs> like some shitty food underneath the door to me, and then being, yeah. So I, I would say probably the the time I went to jail. Yeah. Did you deserve it? Mm. Or were they out to get you type shit? Yeah, I probably deserved it. Let me so guess. I, can I guess what it was? Yeah. Bar fight. Nope. Dang. Close. What? Alcohol, alcohol's involved. Alcohol was involved. Okay. <laughs> we'll leave it there. We'll which leave it there. Which professional, you gotta snitch on yourself. Sorry. Which professional sport <laughs> would you play if you had the choice? Uh, basketball. Which position? Um, small forward. What number? 12. Nice. Wow. You nailed those. Um... Oh, yeah, this one is confusing. Okay, you have a giant scorpion tattoo on your face, but you have infinity bars. Like you could never stop rapping. Like you could just go forever. Or, Listen. <laughs> so you giant scorpion tat. Mm -hmm. Just with like infinity covering. bars, yeah. Or you are a scorpion, but you have all the knowledge of the universe. Like in total enlightenment. But I can't use it because I'm a scorpion. I can't talk. I don't have thumbs. I think you kind of transcend that though with all the knowledge, right? How though? I can't speak. I mean, it would be for you to find out or you'd have the tattoo. You know I'm I mean? going, dude, you know how these rappers do with face tats. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say I'm going infinity bars, baby, with the with the scorpion face tat. The way, sure. just real quick, the way that you <laughs> said the scorpion face tat was, a giant scorpion. How yeah, like, but like, 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 you were like this. Like, like is it the, over his eye? Yeah, what is, like the like stingers it's a, it's, here oh, and the heads here. Okay, I thought you were gonna say like stinger at the forehead and then come down with like the legs you going over the You can do that if you want. Cheeks. It's kind of up to you. Uh, oh, yeah, no, I'm going scorpion face that all day. That's cool. What's the last content that made you cry? Last content that made me cry. Let me think. Rhythm and flow. Really? Yeah. Oh. Like watching it made you cry? Yeah, watching myself when a little bit, it. and then um, shout out to D Smoke watching watching D Smoke win made, me, cool. sh made me shed a thug tear. That's cool. Mm. You know, everybody loves it though. Yeah, so rhythm and flow definitely. Um, what's the most trouble you ever got in in school? Most trouble. So I, me and my friend, were skateboarding outside of our middle school. <sighs> Skaters, dude. I tell you. Skate you rats. <laughs> yeah. Skating outside of our middle school, and my buddy was like. Fuck, you know, throws his skateboard because he didn't land a trick. Yeah. And there's this plexiglass window, and that shit just popped out. Didn't shatter. The yeah. window just popped out. So we were like, it's a Saturday. No cars in the parking lot. So we went in there, we're like skating through the hallways. There's this little Oh my There's this God. little there's this little like four stair over near the library. So we're like skating the little stair set. 
and like we tr- we like snuck into the cafeteria and started eating like Skittles and like oh. pretzels and all this different shit. It's and like we, a dream. We tripped a bunch of silent alarms and uh, cops came, got arrested, and we're in, we're I'm in fucking I'm in eighth grade. So, you were drunk in eighth grade. No, I wasn't drunk. You we were said skating. when you were in jail, it involved alcohol. Different time. Oh, okay. Why you think you went to jail? Cops, <laughs> you were drunk in eighth grade. No, I, I think the first time you I ever were got... drunk in eighth grade. Why yeah, were you dude. Yeah, I was definitely asking homeless people for forties in eighth yeah. grade. So, wow. Okay. Um, but yeah, anyways. It's funny how the tables turn. Yeah, know. basically, almost got expelled from the uh, Gross Point School District, but we fought it. We fought back. Sweat. And they were like, they were like, nah. You know what? You can come back. Nice kids finish last. Oh, um, sure. Wait, what? How did no, that? No. You ever no, accidentally <laughs> smuggled drugs? Accidentally smuggled drugs. Like you no. ever crossed, pretty close to you Canada. Ever, yeah, you ever go into Canada and be like, oh shit, I had that sack on me. No, 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 no. Because I am such an anxiety ridden fuck that mm-hmm. I like. No, no, I take like a vacuum to myself to make sure there's not even like a crumb on me or whatever before yeah. I cross. So no, besides like state lines, no. Okay. No. That doesn't never, count. yeah, never on like a plane. That was on purpose. I'm, yeah, exactly. Got to no. go across state lines. Yeah. <laughs> if you couldn't stay in the U.S., where would you move to? Like, if you got a what do they call it? A, eviction, eviction notice. Yeah, but if you got evicted <laughs> from the U.S. If Trump deported me, yeah. um, <laughs> I would want it to be a fucking tropical place, right? Yeah. So, Mexico would be lit because the little amount of money that I do have would go a long way. Mm-hmm. Spring so we'll break. Go with Mexico. Spring cool. break forever, dude. Yeah, then you could really get into smuggling drugs. Um, <laughs> you can get into the Latin pop craze, too. That's true. Oh, dude, that shit's so hot right now. Yeah, yeah it is for hot. Sure. Um, do you have an Uncle Steve? No. Damn it. <laughs> no, that's my dad's name, though. Oh, close enough. <laughs> Why? Um, Weird question. Everybody's got an Uncle Steve. Okay. okay. I don't. I have a lot of uncles, too. Um, Kate, Wait. you want to ask your question? Wait, do you all of a sudden think that you have? I'm just double checking, but no, I don't. I don't. I don't. We got a guest question. If I do have an Uncle Steve out there, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm really <laughs> sorry. How guest is he going to get back here? How do I you don't expect know. this? Just say it real loud, Kate. No, 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 no. No, no, come over here. Here, yeah, come over here. Here. Here we go. Yeah. Here, just lean in real good. Yeah. yeah. Hey, guys, this is Suicide Rascal. He's asking one guest question to Sam B. yourself. Sorry, I got too much hair. Um, what would you like your dream woman to smell like on the first date or the second date? Really, the second date. My dream woman to smell like? Mm-hmm. What would you like her to smell like? Oh, fuck, dude. Um, I would want her to smell like pink Starburst. Oh, Ooh, that's a good ass answer. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, oh, cool. That's was, super cute, right? I was gonna yeah, say jasmine cute. and chamomile, but now I feel like an idiot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. aren't yeah. those just your ex girlfriend's names? <laughs> there you go. Shout out chamomile. Shout <laughs> out <Didn't he> dirty. <laughs> chamomile oh. Cabello. What's that? What's her name? <laughs> Camille <laughs> Chamomile. What's the be- What's the better porn name? Steve Handjobs or Alex Throbriguez? <laughs> <laughs> God damn, those are good. Thanks. Thanks. Those are really good. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go with Alex Rodriguez. Oh, yeah, yeah I think knock it out of the park. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I think that cool. one wins. Yeah. Um, all right, now I'm gonna read you some controversial metal band names, and I don't don't peek. Oh, okay. okay <laughs> Just let them. Um, um, and you have to rate them one to ten, three being the lowest, eight being the highest. Okay. Right, cool. Okay. <laughs> First one, Adolf Satan. That's a good, that's a good, uh, seven. That's a good seven. Well, so seven awesome. being, so eight being good. Eight being the highest, three being As the in lowest. highest what though? Like, it's up to you. Like good? Yeah, like sure. it's Like Most it's awesome? Intense. And then intense. And then three being like, no, nah, bro, you crossed the line. Yeah. Okay, okay, <laughs> kind of, cool. Yeah, really yeah so for Adolf Satan, we'll, we'll go a good seven. Wow, I thought that was much worse. No, you gotta, you gotta cross, you gotta, you know, be dangerous. This one pains me to say. Okay. Just kidding. Anal cunt. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, um... Yeah, that's weak, dude. That's that's uh no, we'll go as like a four. Okay. Cool. Uh, you could do better than that. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Begging for incest. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Begging for incest? <laughs> Where are yeah. they from? These guys um, They're German cousins. Oh no! Oh my god. Yeah. Begging for incest. No, that's pretty intense. Yeah. So we'll, yeah, that's that's gotta that's gotta go all the way. That's gotta that's, be an eight. All right, cool. Or yeah. wait, I'm confused now about the scale. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so wait, so yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. eight it's being it's supposed to be confusing. So yeah. eight but being like okay, which is the best, I guess. So eight <laughs> being awesome, oh, man. and then okay, cool. we gotta get rid of the ranking. Let's just say them. Okay, yeah, we'll just yeah, here we go. Cattle decapitation. 
I like that. Yeah, yeah we'll go. That we'll, one's we'll, a little, go, we'll go. We'll go six and a half. <laughs> right. Okay. Child pornography. Uh, three. Uh, three. Yeah. Too sorry, explicit. sorry. Uh, this Shout out to our. This one's way better. <laughs> Clit boys. Clit boys? That sounds like a rap group. <laughs> yeah, that's like literally like I just left that group. Just, like, <laughs> like out because they weren't paying me. Right. <laughs> Crazy like, penis. I can never find those. Crazy guys. Crazy penis. That's whack. Yeah, that's we'll go. Whack. We'll go three. How about? Oh, I don't like that one. I'm skipping it. Diarrhea planet. That's kind of tight. We'll dude, go five. Dude, okay. I don't know how you guys, how you don't know who they are. I've seen them three times. I'm not even joking. Diarrhea Planet? Yeah, they're a good band. Nice. They're from like, like, like metal Nashville or, or like... No, they're like a punk. Like indie punk. punk. Like yeah. indie, punk? indie cool. rock punk. Cool, cool. Cool band. Dick Delicious and the Tasty Testicles. Ooh, that's kind of tight. Yeah, um, it's got a good ring to it. Pause. But yeah, kind of tight. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, so we'll go, we'll, go, we'll go six and a half for, for the Tasty Testicles, I, I think guess. this is my personal favorite one. Dog Shit Sandwich. Mm. Didn't hit you. Did it? No, no, no. I feel like we could do better. We'll go four. Okay. Right. Dying fetus. Sorry. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go three and a half. Right, I just want to say before you get to the next one, dying fetus has a hit song called "Kill Your Mother, Rape Your Dog," and that is not a joke. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I, I take back my answer. That's a three. Right. <laughs> disgusting. Cross the line, man. Absolutely. How about full blown AIDS. Well, that's kind of tight. Yeah. That's kind of tight. <laughs> yeah, because it yeah. raises awareness. I mean, think about it, dude. Like, Magic Johnson has full blown AIDS, and mm -hmm. he's like super cool and, and rich. And you could raise yeah. awareness for a good cause. And he owns the Dodgers. He does. So, yeah, we'll go eight. And he mm. invented Showtime. Uh, <laughs> gay what Cowboys in Bondage? Uh, no, nah, I feel like that's just kind of like. Mm. This sick one of this. really confuses me how, why it's on the list the Goo Goo Dolls. <laughs> Google Dolls? They're just a fetish. I mean, like, yeah, they're yeah. pretty. They're pretty mainstream. They got but some hits. But what's weird about that name? I don't Is know. that like in reference to like a sex doll? There's one. Oh, maybe. Up. Maybe yeah, that's yeah. maybe that's the old school slang. Like, oh, I'm going down to the saloon. To Get a Goo Goo Doll. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to spend some time with my Goo Goo Doll. Like, uh, yeah, that yeah. might be. All right, this is the last one because it kind of takes the cake for me. Okay. Lion bitch and the restraining orders. <laughs> that's tight. Eight. Eight. Shout okay. out to all you crazy bitches out there. I hope oh, it's wow. a female front person too and then like the backing band there's no way it's a bunch of fat old dudes i guarantee it yeah yeah it actually says fat old guys in this band yep <laughs> oh they did a cover of gg allen's fuck yourself yeah they did oh, wow well, shout okay. out to them man yeah hope, shout out to them you know hopefully they're on tour or whatever um this is actually kind of like a, a more serious note who did he tell you that to wait what who did he tell you that to what do you mean who did he tell you that to? Yeah, who did he tell you that to? <laughs> who did he tell you that to? Right. I don't I don't get it. There's a right and a wrong answer. <laughs> yeah, no, this is Who did he tell yeah. you? Who did he <laughs> right, tell <laughs> you that to? <laughs> to, yeah. You got it. It seems like you're following. Me? Mm-hmm. Is that the answer? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, got it. yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. It doesn't matter. All right, we want to thank Sam Be Yourself for being here with us. And uh, being himself. Thanks, guys. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you're the man. Appreciate it. Yeah, uh, let them know what you got coming up. You got the mini tour. Yeah, tour so thing. we got some, yeah, we're, we're putting some dates together right now. I'm going to be announcing all those soon. Um, we got a few different singles dropping. I got a single dropping on Friday the 13th and then a video to follow that's that as well. That's my birthday. Is that's it really? Let's go. Yeah. Turn up, we're gonna black out. Woo! He is exactly 10 years older to the day than Matt Ox. Right? Tell me it's a coincidence. Tell me. Cause you're wrong. <laughs> Cause Maddox is about to turn 15. Cut or, the fucking cameras off wait, right cut now. Him off. Cut him off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maddox is lit though, kinda. Yeah, yeah. I love Maddox. Yeah, he's yeah. kinda lit. He's lit. All right. Uh, that's it? Is All that right, it? Guys. All right. Thanks All right, for watching. Guys. Like, subscribe. Check out Sam's music. We'll see you next time. Bye.